Hello. Thank you for joining Matthew's Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we are going to see subroutines and functions. We are going to see how to write a subroutine and how to write a function. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to tell the difference between subroutine and function and how to use a function and how to use subroutine. Without further ado, let's get started. Here is a sample of a subroutine. As you can see, a subroutine starts with the keyword subroutine, followed by the name of subroutine, and in parentheses we put both inward parameters and outward parameters. Our subroutine is called calculate DTI and it has three parameters, two of which are inward parameters, gross income and the total deaths, and the one outward parameter. As you can see, we determine debt to income ratio as total debts over gross income. So when invoking our subroutine, it is going to calculate this DTI and return it here. So we don't specify this value here after return. We simply determine the value and write the keyword return and end. Now let's see a sample of a function. A function starts with a keyword function followed by the name of a function and in parentheses we put only inward parameters. We don't specify outward parameters. So our function here is called DTI. It has two parameters, gross income and total deaths. Then we can determine the DTI the same way we did in subroutine and return the value. So our value to be returned is written after the keyword return. So here we are returning DTI as total debts over income, the same way we did here in subroutine. But the difference, as you can see, on subroutine, the return value is not written after return, while in a function, the return value needs to come after the keyword return. And then you also have end, the same as subroutine. Now, let's see how to use subroutine and how to use function. First of all, both subroutines and functions cannot be invoked from gesture. So we need to invoke a subroutine or a function from another subroutine or from programs. So to invoke a subroutine, we write keyword call followed by the name of subroutine and in parentheses we put all the parameters in the same way as they have been defined when creating that subroutine. So you use the signature of a subroutine the way it is, this part. Now, how do we call a function? Before invoking a function, we need to declare that function. You declare a function using the keyword define, followed by the name of a function and parentheses. To call a function, you simply write the name of a function and in parentheses you put the inward parameters. You can assign the return value to a variable. This val is a local variable. 
Now let's move to a practical session. Let's see how to use function and subroutine. We are going to use the same programs we've just seen, the same subroutine and the same function. So as you can see here, I have this subroutine already created and I also have the function. So I have already created these subroutines. I compiled and cataloged. You need to do the same before you invoke them. Now let's write a simple program in which we are going to invoke both our subroutine and function. Let me create a program. I'm going to call it test DTI. Dot B. Okay. Since we'll be testing DTI, then you are going to write here program because you want to invoke this from Cheshire. Test DTI and to determine a DTI, we need gross income and total deaths. So let's define both gross income, gross income equals, for example, 12,000 euros, okay? And the total deaths, total Let's say the total death is 3,452, okay? Let's start with the subroutine. As you have seen in our presentation, to invoke a subroutine, we need to write the name of our subroutine and all the parameters. So, we type call and the name of our subroutine with all parameters, inward and outwards. Let's quickly verify. Okay, they're the same. So when the program is going to call this subroutine, it's going to have DTI as a return value. So we can use now this value. For now, we are just going to print this value. Let's say the message DTI from subroutine is, okay, and then you put DTI, okay. Now let's use function. To use a function, as you have seen, we need to declare the function. And to declare the function, we use the keyword define. So let's declare a function here. At the top we do define, and the name of our function is DTI. Okay, here it is. And to invoke our function, we just type the name of our function. And in the parentheses, we put the parameters it takes. So our function takes these two parameters. So we can either assign a value or output the value, just like this. Because when this is going to invoke, it's going to return a value. And you can print this value, okay? But let's put this in, in a variable. Actually, here I wrote DIT, not DTI. So it's a DTI. Now, let's create a local variable we call DTI2. Okay? We say DTI2 is the result of our function, our function call. So this. Okay? Now, we can print now a message saying
detail from function is this okay so to summarize as you can see we define our function so we put the name of our function and in parentheses without a signature but to use our function we need to specify the parameters and we can assign the values to the return value okay let's copy our program we do jade mathc.bp and the name is test dti.b we are going to paste our program here Control V to format, it's okay, formatted properly. F5, let's compile. Use basic to compile, no error. Let's catalog. Fantastic, as you can see, uh, both values are the same. So the DTI calculated from our subroutine is the same as a DTI calculated by our function. So in short, we have seen how to define a function and how to define a subroutine. So the structure of both subroutine and function and how to invoke both subroutine and function. Thank you for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed watching this video uh, you now know how to use function and subroutines if you enjoyed watching this video please like it and share with your friends don't forget to subscribe if you haven't see you next bye bye